video is not dramatic, this video is happy, and I'm filming it before I change my mind, damn it. I will not cry. This is a happy video. Hi, I'm Jess. I used to make videos on this here channel called Magenta Mayhem. I started this channel when I was 17, and I'm 21, and it's been four years. Oh, um, that's a lot of years. I'm making this video because there have been artists that I've followed who dropped off the map, and I was always kind of sad and wanted to know where they'd gone, so that if they were still posting somewhere else, I could still follow their art because I really liked what they did. And the fact that I still get comments and that I still get messages on my Magenta Mayhem platforms asking me where I've been, wh where I went, um, that kind of tells me that I have a responsibility to make this video. And I, not only that, I kind of loved this community and still do, um, in a different way. <laughs> I do kind of miss this community that we had here, but I'm also, my hair, oh my goodness, I'm also well aware that not everyone will want to continue to follow my journey as an artist, and that's okay. Um, but I felt kind of constricted by the Magenta Mayhem branding, and I needed to branch out. So let's, let's briefly talk about the story of my channel. Um, like I said, I made this channel in 20, uh, not in 2017, when I was 17. Um, I don't think that I told my mother until I'd made a couple of videos as well. Um, I was just making speed paints every now and then, and I, I'd i seen other artists make videos about art, and I thought it looked cool and looked like fun, so I used to just film on my phone. I still film on my phone. I have a better microphone, but I didn't plug it in because I'm trying to make this video before I change my mind. Yeah, and I was just sort of making videos, doing my best at said videos. Oh my goodness, my hair. And basically, um, I wound up releasing a video, my sketchbook tour, where um, it kind of blew up overnight. And I felt really, really grateful for that. But I also felt that it was incredibly undeserved. It was just a popular video. And I'm glad that it happened because it introduced a lot of people to me and me to a lot of people but at the same time I wasn't uploading regularly and uh, I wound up with this big following um, really really quickly and I don't think I could handle it <laughs> and I kind of panicked and freaked out and because um, I wasn't already making videos I didn't consider myself a YouTuber I think there was an expectation in my head that I needed to become a YouTuber even though I didn't really want to make weekly videos at that point. Yeah, so I sort of like dipped in and out of trying to make videos, make content and things like that and um, eventually I got a job in marketing and used my videography skills there. Um, I made a lot of videos professionally and it was a lot of fun honestly and I kind of wish that my mental health had been a little bit better so that maybe I would have been a lot better at my job there. <laughs> um, yeah, but it got better eventually. We all heal. Basically, at the end of last year, I released a community post explaining that I was going to take some time away from this channel and saying that I basically just needed to step back. And I haven't returned since, pretty much. Um, I'm still logged into some of the platforms, I only just logged into them maybe a month or two ago, and it's kind of surprising to me that I still get comments and I still get DMs. So let me just go into a bit of a backstory about that community post because some people were confused as to why I was stepping back, but I did keep myself, uh, I kept that information very private and I was very vague about the reason. Um, so basically my life exploded. Um, I wound up losing that job in marketing, and the day that I found out I was going to lose it, I also got into my first car accident, where I was liable. Um, that was a whole ordeal, because I'm under the age of 25, and here in Australia, if you're under the age of 25 and you're liable for a car accident, there's going to be some hoops. Yeah, no, it wasn't good. And then two weeks after all of that went down and I was still dealing with the car accident stuff, I had to go through a breakup. Um, and that person and I had been together for a year and a half. 
so it wasn't exactly an easy breakup. <laughs> that being said though, almost a year on, like we're talking 11 months by now, um, everything is fine now. Surprisingly. I still feel like I'm being sucked into this void of I don't know how to be an adult, but the more that I come into adulthood, the more I realize that adults don't actually act like adults. So that's good. Um, and basically, I, I tell people about Magenta Mayhem, so I don't know why I haven't told Magenta Mayhem about what I'm doing now. Uh, told Magenta Mayhem? I am Magenta Mayhem. This is confusing. Those were kind of like the, the events that contributed to the end of the channel. Um, but I probably also need to explain something else that was happening at the time. I was getting more interested in a certain kind of illustration, and I was getting more interested in potentially doing editorial illustration work, um, and, you know, working for magazines and things like that. And I would kind of branded myself as a character designer, because those were the people that I followed online, because that was really all I thought I could do. Um, and I, I'd just like to say, uh, people change, <laughs> art changes, and art is an extension of yourself, and that's something that I've learned recently, um, and if art is an extension of yourself, then you need to be allowed to grow with it, and I found that with the Instagram posts that I was releasing and some of the content that I was releasing on YouTube, there were some people, and I wish that I hadn't focused on this, but I did, there were some people who didn't like where my art was going, they weren't interested in it anymore, and I sort of saw that as, oh, well, it's it's not worth much anymore, is it? And that was kind of a problem, because rather than get involved in the industry, I had just gotten involved in my following, and that's not great, that's not a good art practice. This video is, it's been a long time in the works, but it's kind of spur of the moment, it's um, something that I just sort of felt like I needed to do, and I will probably edit and upload this today because I just feel like this has to happen. Yeah, because um, I miss you guys, and apparently, according to some comments and stuff, you miss me, so Maybe there's still some people out there who would like to see where I'm at now. Basically, I haven't made a comic book. I'm sorry. I, I know that a lot of people wanted me to make a graphic novel or um, like a webcomic or something. My heart wasn't really in that. I liked making characters and I liked coming up with silly stories for them, but I wasn't entirely interested in exploring those concepts further. I really enjoy editorial illustration and I just enjoy illustration in general, really. <laughs> so that's something that I began to pursue, and I created a portfolio at the end of last year. I created an all-new social media presence, and I will leave links to that presence in the description, but I also created a new YouTube channel, and <laughs> I just recently in the last few months have rediscovered a love for making YouTube videos. I love making videos, I love talking about pens, I'm a student, I am t uh, doing some visual arts units, I am hoping to go into graphic design soon, but I would like to sort of juggle that and illustration. Um, I have uploaded for six to seven weeks straight now to YouTube. I kind of had a, a deal with myself that I would um, I would make an update video as soon as I'd made six weekly videos. And then I kind of chickened out and decided I wasn't going to do it, and then my boyfriend, my now boyfriend, his name is Jacob, um, brought that up with me this morning and he was like, hey, are you still gonna make an update video on Magenta Mayhem? And I was like, no, no, I'm scared. And I, <laughs> look what I'm doing now, babe. <laughs> um, yeah, also, I, I, I guess I'll touch on this a little bit. Um, I'm with someone who also makes videos, who is also a creative, and 
we both are just so very ambitious and driven by our passions. Um, Jacob makes some really cool videos talking about movies and stuff like that, and um, he makes like short films. He's got a lot of aspirations, and uh, I would recommend that you check out his channel, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. I love him a lot, and I think that he deserves a bit of recognition for how hard he tries to work on everything that he does. I will obviously leave links to my new social media presence in the description below. I'm really sorry if I'm not living up to what people want of me. That's, that's something that, um, I said I wasn't gonna cry. Uh, that's something that's kind of hard for me is, I shouldn't have filmed this while I was on my period. <laughs> I, I never want to disappoint people, but it's gotten to a point where I love illustration so much, and I love what I'm doing so much, and I'm sorry that I'm not looking at the camera, I'm really nervous in this video, um, and if if I can do this, if I can give my dream my everything, then at least I'll have nothing to regret. But I also regret not sharing more about my life and the struggle, the day-to-day -day struggle, and that's why in this new channel that I've made, I talk about pens, but I also make some vlogs sometimes, um, and I, I regret not being more of a person, I guess, on Magenta Mayhem, because I feel like I was just sort of like putting on a show and showing you what I could do, um, rather than talking about, talking about the bad weeks, talking about the, the worry and the fear that you're never going to become everything that you want. Um, and maybe I shouldn't have overthought this video as much as I have, maybe I should have made it sooner. I don't know. Um, but all I know is that I'm here now and I'm just doing my best. That's all I'm doing. And if you guys want to come and join me, that would be awesome. Because I would love to have you here. Um, there. <laughs> this is so weird. This is such a weird ass video to make. Yeah, I'm back. And I'm making videos weekly videos at the moment. If I get more busy, like if I get client work, guys, if I get client work, I'm gone. I'm never making YouTube. Uh, I'm kidding. I'll make bi-weekly videos. I want to do everything that I can to achieve my dream and I want to take you there with me so that I can show you that it is possible. <laughs> um, even though it's difficult, even though it's hard, and even though I have, I have days where, and nights where I just like burst into tears and I don't feel like I can do anything right. I want to take you on the journey with me. I want us all to lift each other up. That's what I want us to do. Oh yeah, I didn't even say, what, what name am I under now? I'm Jessie Grace. I'm just out here giving my life my best shot and I'm just, I'm just doing what I can. So, you know, if you guys want to come and join me over on my other channel, that would be awesome. If you don't because, you know, you were more interested in the character design stuff, that's fine too. I'm cool with either. Alright, I'm gonna close this video off. We didn't cry much. <laughs> and, um, thank you for watching and thank you for sticking it out with me. Thank you for, um, maybe even for coming back after a while. I really appreciate it. And... I will see you when I see you, I guess. This will probably be the last Magenta Mayhem video that I make um, ever, just to sort of give people an idea of where I'm going now. Um, I'm going to be an illustrator. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.